The mini band clamshell is a great exercise to help strengthen the medial glutes, which will lead to better knee tracking when squatting. Begin by lying on your side with a mini band position just above your knees, and then keeping your hips, knees, and feet stacked. Raise the top leg up, holding in the top position for a second or two, making sure to keep the core lightly braced. For the quadruped adductor rock, begin on the ground in an all fours position with one leg extended out to the side, making sure to keep that knee straight. Maintain a slight arch in the lower back to keep the back flat as you drive the hips gently backwards and forwards. It's important not to deviate from this pelvic position to make sure you're getting an efficient stretch on the adductor muscles on the extended leg. For the squat to stand, begin with your feet positioned a little bit wider than shoulders width apart. Reach down and with straight legs grab onto the tops of your feet and then drop into a deep squat position allowing the hips to drop below the level of the knees while maintaining a nice long spine. Chest out, weight on the heels, and this is a great exercise to help improve hip mobility. For the high kneeling quad hip flexor mobilization, begin in a high kneeling position with your foot a few inches away from the wall. Dip the knee in until you feel a stretch down into the Achilles tendon of the front leg. Once you've reached a good stretch position, reach back and grab the instep of the back leg, pulling that heel to your glute, then gently drive everything towards the wall. You'll feel a little bit of a stretch in the Achilles tendon on the lead leg and a huge stretch in the quad and the hip flexor of the back leg. For the active isolated ITB stretch, begin lying on the ground and hook a stretch strap to your foot. Next, wrap the strap around the outside of your lower leg. From that position, externally rotate the stretching leg and internally rotate the leg on the ground. Begin by sweeping your leg across at a low angle using the adductors or inner thighs of the stretching leg. Gently assist another 10% with the band for about two seconds each time, gradually trying to make the movement a little bigger with each passing repetition. Again, do not tug on the band to pull the leg up, but use the muscles of the adductors on the inside of the leg to bring the IT band into a stretch. For the eccentric quasi-isometric split squat, stand a few feet in front of a bench and reach back and place the instep of one foot behind you. Next, descend into a split squat, keeping a nice long torso with the back knee just a couple of inches off the ground. Here you simply hold for time, anywhere from 20 seconds working your way up to a minute, making sure to keep your lower body tense the whole time. The stability ball rollout is a great drill for helping to open up tight lats. Begin kneeling with a stability ball in front of you, placing your hands on the lower third of the ball. Keep your hips fixed as you drive your arms outward, making sure to externally rotate the arms so the palms face the ceiling. You're going for length here, trying to really open up those lats, keeping the hips in that fixed position and getting a nice long spine and arms fully extended. Remember to start with the hands facing each other and then roll out and externally rotate the arms by turning the palms up towards the ceiling to get a great stretch. The objective for the dying bug is to create some limb movement while maintaining a good neutral spine position. Begin by lying on your back, your knees extended above your hips. Next, brace your core lightly and hold a good neutral spine posture as you reach one arm out as long as possible and one leg without allowing them to touch the ground. If at any time you feel your lower back arching away from the ground excessively, you know you're going too far. You want to be able to get a nice long position but still maintain core neutral. Finally, the prone cobra is a great exercise for helping to increase extension in the thoracic spine. Begin by positioning yourself over a stability ball holding a nice long posture. Starting with your palms facing each other and towards the ground. Pinch your shoulder blades together as you bring your arms back, rotating them so the palms face outward and thumbs turn up towards the ceiling. Remember to emphasize using the muscles of the middle back here and not just throwing the arms back behind you. 